beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious strawberry horchata that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. this refreshing strawberry horchata, these are the ingredients. Strawberry extract, two cups of strawberries, one cup of rice, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of milk, one condensed milk, one evaporated milk, water and ice. This is everything we need, so let's get started. I am ready to start making my simple syrup. When you make your simple syrup, you use less sugar with your lemonade. So here I have one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of water. I'm going to cook it for at least five minutes until the sugar has dissolved completely. And when this is done, I am going to put it aside and let it come to room temperature. And now I am ready to start with my rice. I am going to add the rice, add some water, and then cover it. You could leave it covered for about four hours or even better, leave it overnight so that the rice gets nice and puffy and really release all the amazing flavor. Once this is done, you go ahead, you uncover it, you take the ceram wrap off, and then you are ready to blend. I use my Nutribullet only for my lemonades and my smoothies. I don't want my lemonades or my, my smoothies to have a little hint of spice. So I use this Nutribullet blender only for these two things well once i'm adding all the rice and all the water into my blender cup i am going to blend for a couple minutes until everything is nice and blended it really doesn't take too long to enjoy a strawberry or chata Once this is done, you want to go ahead and sift it really good. Put it through a mesh, sift it really good because you don't want all those granules into your agua fresca. Look at this. I added some more water and I'm doing two liters of this strawberry horchata. Make sure that you get all the liquid out. Once this is done, you are ready to start adding your regular milk, your evaporated milk, your condensed milk. Get everything out of the condensed milk inside. Get everything out. Okay. Now I am ready to whisk it really good, making sure that all the milks have really incorporated. All the condensed milk is incorporated with the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to taste. I'm going to add a half a cup of the simple syrup we made at the beginning of the video. And now I am ready to add and incorporate the strawberry extract. The strawberry extract is color, flavor, and aroma. Look at this. There is no need to add any food coloring, anything like that. The strawberry, it's so penetrated, the order, it smells so delicious of strawberry. Oh my gosh. Look at the color that the milk's got. Just amazing. Well, once, once you have this ready, you're ready to continue with your strawberries. You could drink this horchata just like this. 
but let me tell you if you add fresh or frozen strawberries even better I have my strawberries here I have this little gadget that I got at Walmart to get only the little leaves out look at this oh my gosh they come out with so many things for the kitchen so many little gadgets and this was perfect because sometimes when you use the knife you get a lot of the pulp out and the strawberries are so small that you really just want to remove just the little green stem so here i'm going to continue removing this with this little gadget and once this is done i am going to go ahead and rinse really good through running water the strawberries disinfect them really good now that they're nice and disinfected and clean i am going to start just slicing away you could cube it you could slice it i mean i like slice because when you have a slice you can really see it in your glass and you could really even enjoy it but if you cube it you could even drink this strawberry horchata with a straw and still enjoy the pieces of the strawberries look at this i am ready let me add some ice to my glass add a little bit of ice and then add some strawberries some more ice and some more strawberries i love strawberries well who doesn't with this hot weather you're really going to enjoy this amazing strawberry horchata easy to do ingredient the ingredients you almost everybody has these ingredients at home i'm adding a lot of ice to my pitcher i'm going to add all the strawberries in here just like that and now i am ready to pour look at this nice and smooth and thick the aroma of the strawberry amazing oh my gosh i am sure that once you make this delicious strawberry horchata you're going to continue enjoying it for the whole summer like i said with the ingredients that you already have at home and the strawberry is in season so it's not too expensive my pitcher is ready now i'm ready to add this strawberry horchata to my glass i can't wait to enjoy if you got up to this part of the video and you like and you love it please leave me a thumbs up share this video on social media with your friends with your relatives so cooking with gloria keeps growing I am ready for the presentation. I'll see you in just a little bit. My friends, I am completely done with this amazing strawberry horchata, creamy, delicious, and perfect for this hot weather. This is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Excuse me. The flavor of the strawberry, just amazing. So penetrated that you are really going to love this amazing strawberry horchata. Refresh yourself with Cooking with Gloria. If you liked and loved this amazing recipe, leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. 
I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will stay enjoying myself this amazing strawberry horchata. See you soon. Bye-bye.